Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Easy now. Thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. What a relief. Thank you. All in a day's work. Let's go. I'm going all out. Just don't get too cute anyway. Sure want to talk. Thanks for the ride. buddy. Huh? Ah, the young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the storm sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. <laughs> What is it? Another headache? I heard her. Gentiana. Divine voices in your head again? Hopefully it won't amount to the same headache it did with the Archean. So 
is Kentiana, you know, human? Not quite. While not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. Just like the Oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. We're here. <clears throat> nice riding with you. Hey there. Thanks. Thank you for coming. Easy now. at this time said I'm the chosen one lucky me up and get this over with. Finally! Time to meet with the storm sender. You'd better look your best. <laughs> Let's go! His story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Crown City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person.
Imperials above us! Thanks. Yeah. Come on, pick up. No luck? Probably got her phone on silent. <laughs> off the bucket list. gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see law come to life before my very eyes. Leaving insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing. <laughs> Magitech engine. It's close. After Rama, we go see Leviathan, right? Indeed. I dare say Lady Luna Freya seeks the Hydrian as we speak. Which means another right, and a heavier burden. Yeah. Hope she can hold up. Mm-hmm. 
Look, over there. I bet that's the spot lightning struck. And we're supposed to go inside? Thanks for the ride. Let's go. Hmm. Here we are, Fosha Hollow. No telling what waits inside. Stay sharp. Always. Oh, we're drifting into the deep end. I can't quite make out how deep it runs. Only one way to find out, right? Whoa! Ah! I've got a bad feeling about this place. As if danger lurks round every corner. Avoid all corners. Got it. Hey, Noct. Check this out. Should be able to slip through. Let's see. Tight squeeze. Huh. Maybe for you. Pretty easy for me, though. through. Don't lose your head. That's it. What's up, Biggie? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Let's 
everything I need now. I see. It never ends. How many times? Yeah! <laughs> 
Starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. My son swirl. The right track.
Ah. Know it. Show yourself already! Cool it. Day. Look what we have here. Awesome. So, we found yet another... No luck. Guess we'll need another key. The key question is, where do we look? Uh... Yourself.
Stone. Oh, finally. All right, you're up, Noct. more fire and brimstone some gods are friendlier than others i guess but not all of them poor luna perhaps you'd better console her in person just a boat right away lose that scowl along the way well deal Rama finally got sick of showers. Up there, it's huge! Uh, way bigger than the last one we saw. Yeah? Hey, Highness, about your car. Yeah? Well, I found her, but she's at a base. Oh. Now, I can handle garage folk, no problem. But sweet talk in the Empire? That'll take some doing. Don't worry about it. Yeah? We'll figure it out. You sure about that? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Later. Who was that? Cindy. What? You can't talk to her like that. Yeah, I can. I just did. And does she have any choice words for you? Yeah. The Regalia's at an Imperial base. Oh, boy. Guess that just leaves one question. When do we retrieve her? I'd say now. This is nothing more than conjecture, but I suspect that ship was due to arrive far earlier. The thunder and lightning must have slowed it down. There's a chance they intend to transport the regalia back to Niflheim. We ought to thank the Thunder God for buying us some time. But that time is running out. Yeah, let's run in and ride off. Air. Ah, makes you feel alive. Yeah, don't get used to it. Why is everything such a big deal with you? Let him have his fun while he's still alive. <laughs> Thank you. 
Better keep up. So knocked. Right now you're still gathering your powers, but... What do you do once you've found them all? Recalling is only a set of guiding principles. Well, hopefully it'll guide him into taking down the Empire once and for all. Yeah, like the sound of that. <clears throat> Easy now. buddy. Ancestors have our backs and the gods are on our side. How cool is that? Very, when you put it that way. Empire will get what's coming to him. Certainly doesn't seem as unlikely as it once did. suspicions, but that was well beyond them. He's awfully friendly for an enemy leader. King's calling, exactly. Well, become best buds with the gods, maybe? Legend has it the King once stood alongside the Six in the battle to banish the darkness. Darkness seems awfully vague. Hut. 
Cindy is the sweetest girl ever. Here we go again. Going out of her way to help us these past couple days. I'm sure she's had better things to do. All for a lost cause. Now I feel bad for turning down the courtesy car. The courtesy car's no regalia. Hmm. Would have felt like cheating. Besides, Cindy's a big girl. So, you think she'll call again soon? Soon, huh? Not soon enough for you, lover boy. She's on yeah. to answer. But I told her to be ready and pick up when I call. Let's hope she's all right. <sighs> Thanks for the ride. Requires charge from the particles in the air. If you see it seated on its haunches, stay back. And what if we don't? You die. Me? Ouch! That is one ferocious feline. Yeah, a port of fortress. Those walls don't look so portable, though. They are remnants of the old war, and the Imperial Army has availed itself of the added protection. Entry will not be easy. Yeah. 
Sleeping out under the stars tonight.
So, any bright ideas, Ignis? A dark one, as it were. A frontal assault would leave us exposed. But if we move under cover of night, we might be able to infiltrate the base unnoticed. And until then? We learn all we can about the base's design and attempt to narrow down the Regalia's location. I'll analyze what intelligence we have available to find us a way in. Sounds good, Specs. All right! We're gonna get our wheels back! Our goal is the Regalia. The last thing we want is to engage an entire garrison. Avoid detection at all costs. In and out before it gets light, then. Indeed. Even if it means leaving the task unfinished, we withdraw before we overstay our welcome. signal. Until then, hold position. Three, two, one. Searchlights. We're clear. Tread warily. All right.
this what's powering the base? A Magitech generator of some description. It would explain why the troopers in the vicinity are uncommonly strong. I say we wreck it. Spare us the sneaking around. The risk is too great. Finding the regalia comes first. Not a sound. You'll alert the anime. Got it. There's the old girl. She's a real sight for sore eyes. And none the worse for her time in Imperial hands. What have we here? Change of plans. Our new objective is to clear a path for the regalia. Quite a formidable foe. Chance doing so will weaken the MTs. No more stealth. Our cover's blown. Go to town. Yes, sir!
The entire base is fair game. Hold nothing back. The hammer keeps the enemy off balance. Ah! 
Flight of the Sets. Dude, that was hardcore! That it did the trick. The place is dead. Rest in pieces. Come on, let's grab the regalia and split. <laughs> Piece of cake, huh? Hmm, this part is. Inadvertent though it was, we dealt the Empire a crushing blow today. The Marshal will be pleased to hear of this. Pretty sweet busting up that base. <gasps> bust a base. I like the sound of that for this sort of thing. Uh, there's a base, we go in and bust it up. Bust a base. Whatever, I'm calling it that. You don't have to. I won't. Seems a bit flippant. Why not go for something a little more epic? Because I thought of it first. So that's the name. Bust a base. Get used to it. Easier said than done. Ah, oh, guys? Long has it been, Noctis. Ravis. You receive the storm's blessing, and yet you know nothing of the consequences. Watch it. Be still, <clears throat> all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I will serve a command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. <laughs> Wanna go? Let's do it. Should the chosen fall, so is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? And next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuray, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo.
blockades of the sky and roadways have been removed. The Imperial Army has also demolished all related facilities erected around the region. The provisional government of Insomnia anticipates increased traffic congestion along most local highways and encourages all citizens to refrain from any unnecessary travel for the time being. So help me figure this out. That was Luna's brother? The High Commander himself. Wartime makes for quick promotions. Even a son of Tenebrae can rise to the top. But why would he want to lead their army? Who cares? Certainly formidable enough on his own. Ugh. If Ravis wants power, I'll give him a taste. So whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? What does it matter? Not my camera. Yeah, I guess you have a point. Next, ask around a little. It's up to Noct. wrong? I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor 
before, Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. <laughs> I understand. I can't let her go it alone, after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Shall we then? Yeah, I don't want to keep Sid and Cindy waiting. They're fixing up the boat as we speak. 
We ought to thank them. Actually, Jared's the one we ought to thank. Yeah. He really thought of everything. Filled her up for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 